CCP, USD analysis and update. Uh, that's what we are doing today. We are we want to know what is happening with CCP, USD. And I think this is the pair that I have kept saying the whole of this month. And sometimes it is buying, then selling, then it's like it is in uh, in dilemma. It doesn't know, do I want to buy, do I want to sell? And for me, I've started to think that CPP USD might sell. It's just a thought because yesterday we had news on the pound and the fact that the pound news are weak. Uh, what makes GBP USD buy? Pound has to be strong. And when the news comes out weak, uh, for me, I don't know now. Uh, I, uh, we, ha we are having news in the evening on the USD. So maybe those news on the USD, if USD again is weak, it will make pound stronger. So from where I stand, I think analysis, I, I need to give GBP USD a rest. For me, I have discussed it and I'm done. Like I want to come back weekly time frame and check what is happening. I will, I will once we do this analysis, can we agree we remove GBPUSD from our watch list this week? And then we come back on Saturday and we check what is happening. Why? Because there's a trap here, guys. When you check from higher time frame on the weekly time frame, higher time frame is supporting what? Higher time frame is supporting a sale. Why am I saying higher time frame is supporting a sale? It's because this double top is only on one time frame. The fact that the double top is only on one time frame, it is making me uh, think of a sell more than a buy, but it's not telling you to sell right now. And I'll show you why. So when I we measure half, this market has an opportunity to go to 1.73. And I'm telling you, if that can happen, these are so many pips down. So for me, I think I'm not ready to 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 just get myself to like the idea of this market can sell 396 pips make me uh first of all avoid to trade it for this week because with the news that are coming it can push this market and get to that area so can you do you see that gpsd can sell off 396 pips with pattern one so the market makers can use any pattern even if we say pattern one they can't use it it is they can use it in their in it is in there and they can use it we can all of us we can see it so the fact that we have a double top that is only the double top that is only on weekly let me show you what i mean this double top is only on the weekly and i've started to feel like i don't want to gauge myself i don't want to be biased with what GBPUSD will do. Like, I feel like when you analyze a chart and already this pair you want to buy, you start becoming blind. And that's what analysis does. So the only thing I can do once we are done with this analysis, we can just remove GBPUSD in our watch list. And um, we come back after one week and check. Now, something has happened here. The reason why I'm saying about one week, <clears throat> sorry, after the market giving us a double top that is or not on monthly, let me show you what I mean. This double top for me, I think it is very, very strong. Let's go on the monthly. It's not there. So weekly, they in control. So once the market is given, giving us that double top on the month on the weekly and it's not on the monthly what they have done they have given us a ranging of one candle but they, i don't like this ranging this ranging means fire when you see one candle ranging and i will do that video for you to know the the importance of one candle ranging when you have one ranging candle the market can do anything so from where i stand can we just leave this market alone and we come back if it breaks either side so that we don't get hurt by this market? So this market has potential of buying and of selling. Imagine, like if someone tells you GBP is this a sell, they, they, they have so many reasons for it to be a sell. If someone says GBP is this a buy, the market makers, they are happy because they want us to choose a side. 
So when the bank wants you to choose a side, just know the side you'll choose, the market will never go aside. Why? Because they will always go against the majority. So if we come here and we say, we want this market to sell and you start putting your sell position, guess what? You will find this market having this zone. So I want you to screenshot this, just screenshot this and put it as a remembrance. And one day, once the market breaks either side, the market will go that distance. It will go that direction. Where this market will break, it is evident that's where the market is going. Now, with this in mind, I don't want anything to do with GBP. After having pattern one, where the market is like ranging, it has created a pattern. And that is we call pattern two. So where the market is ranging right now, we have a pattern two. And this is the pattern that I don't know. You know, this pattern can be two things. I have come even to realize this pattern can be used as a cup and handle. Guys, this is serious. This pattern can be used as a cup and handle, an inverted cup and handle. We have a double bottom. So the obsession of this double bottom that it will reach to the half is only not good. Why? Because the same double bottom can turn against us and form a cup and handle. So for me, understanding that, it is even making me I uh, feel like I really need to, to, to think twice. So this, this market like that. So I have this double bottom. Can you see that double bottom? So this double bottom, the market can break. If it breaks this area, most of this area of this double bottom, trust me, if they come, like if this red candle comes down and break out of that area, and, and that's so many pips, like that's how many pips, 111 pips, 111 pips. So if that market comes and break out of that area, just know that the market is gonna sell. And you see the half of this, the half of this cup and handle, inverted cup and handle is around this area. And we have a reason why the market should stop because it can form this double bottom. Let's see if this double bottom can be available on the weekly. I'm just thinking out loud because if we force this trade, if we continue forcing this buy or this sell, we're in trouble. So they can come here. You can see there's a possible way of the market giving us a double bottom. So according to me, for me, I feel like I don't want to get involved in this market unless they break this area. 1.23 so breaking 1.23 and they are at 1.21 how many pips are those it's 208 pips so 208 pips <laughs> so people feel like they don't want to miss the 208 pips they want to be involved when you go to lower time frame like four hour because people uh, we had a double bottom here and people were asking me why did this double bottom well, people are asking me, the double bottom half was broken, but why did the market still continue like sell? Why did this double bottom take the market to the neckline? I'll show you why. And this is the, the, the reason. So let's first do away with this. Um, hold what? We do away with this box. GBPUSD for me, I feel we don't need to be biased. Once you're biased, of course, the banks will always trade against you. I want you to have an open mind. This market can sell or it can buy. So why did the market break the half and still sell? It's because when you are concentrating with, remember the double bottom on the daily is our, the double bottom on the daily is our P2. This is pattern two. And the pattern two, I always tell you, that's what makes the market sometimes not go down. Then we got our P3. For me, I'm thinking, what if they want to complete the pattern three, this double top? What if this is the motive of this bank? So this is P3, pattern three. For me and for what I know, pattern three always reaches to the neckline. So there's higher possibility that this market 
will eventually reach here. There's higher possibility. I'm not saying it will sell, but there's higher possibility to touch there because of P3. Now, the P4 is the one that brought confusion. Why? We have P4, pattern four, which is a double bottom that has broken half. And this double bottom was never on the daily. So let's see if this double bottom was on the daily. So we go to the daily time frame and we check. It was never on the daily. You can see it was never on the daily. So meaning P, P4, even it, even the P4, they will eventually come here. So th the thing is, from where the market is, where will they go first? <laughs> will they go down here? And you see, going down here, they will have violated the double bottom. So for me, I'm feeling like they will not be able to drop before they come up again. So you see, that's a lot of confusion. Another thing I want you to see, when we are struggling with P4, what do you think the banks did to protect themselves from changing the pattern? So P4 was supposed to come here, like it was supposed to come here because it was one pattern on one time frame. But what they did, they made sure they have given us a new pattern, which is a ranging pattern. Many people didn't see P5. P5 was the ranging pattern, guys. So the P5 already has completed. So that was the reason why this guy came down. So P5, if we check the ranging channel and then we check the distance, these guys, they are very smart. Let me tell you, you trade against smart people. So P5 already, they activated the half. Like I tell you, when a ranging market breaks, it will come to the half of the distance. So for us, we are still glued in the P4. But these people have advanced. They are on P5. So what happens is that when the pattern like the pattern can come to have the, the completion of this pattern is not guaranteed. That's something you need to understand. It's not guaranteed the pattern to come here. So what they can do, what they can do, they already they have removed the idea of a new double bottom. So we don't have the idea of the double bottom. The only idea we have is this double bottom to finish the P4 to finish the neckline, which again is not guaranteed. Why? Because they might be working on P5. So what I can tell you guys, what I can tell you is that when you look at GBP USD, all I can see is a trap, 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 trap. The only way to survive GBP USD when you're trading it, you can't trade it when it is on this. This is a, this is a zone, it's a channel. This is a channel. So what we need to do is that I have told you, we are now at P5. But people think we are at P4, we are at pattern five. So go and remove everything. And this is the channel. Look at this as the whole. So GBPSD officially, it is on the channel. Can you see that? So look at this as the whole of it and tell yourself where this market will break to, that's where the direction of the market will go. If this market decide to break above, that's where it will go. If it decides to break below, that's where it will go. And you, you will be free. Guys, you'll be free. Free from trading something that you're not sure. So it will go this distance above. And it will go this distance below. So that's what we are saying. So if we measure half of this, half of this distance, that's where the market should go, 1.249. And it's exactly the zone of the double bottom. See the double bottom? This is the double bottom that we have been waiting for it to go up. If the market breaks that ranging channel, trust me, it is going to that area. It will be going towards, you see, even the completion of this channel means that the market might be going and completing the area. So from, from now, because we don't know what the markets want, you can only be patient. Don't try to enter 
don't try to trade it it will just give you um you won't understand it in short you won't understand what is happening so you can see because they have broke this area maybe they want to come to this zone and create a double bottom so th that's the only thing i can say maybe they want to create that double bottom because this one they they have not managed to do that so you can see how the market has gone back instead of trying to trade gbpsd around here just wait it breaks above the sides and that is it guys only uh, like that's the only thing i can tell you wait because from where we stand this thing has uh, it is it will mess you up thank you so much for watching all the best and love you so much.